Hello there, everyone. And thank you for sharing this time with us, with Nancy and myself, Sharon. And we're going to be, I hope this is working. It's, it's going around. Oh, there oh. we are. Okay, we're going to start this again. Thank you for joining and sharing your time today and um, at Nancy's home with Nancy and myself, Sharon. And we're doing the 21 days of Breakthrough Prayer along with Abundant Life. And today, the title is Earnest Prayer for Him. And what does earnest mean? An intense, dedicated focus, desperate, physically exhausting, committed to achieving the desired goal. No quitting in me because of him in me kind of prayer. And I'm going to read from Acts 12, 1 through 5. About that time, Herod the king laid violent hands on some who belonged to the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the days of unleavened bread. And when he had seized him, he put him in prison, delivering him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending after the, pass the Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer, there it is, earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. So that's how we're going to pray today, with earnest prayer for um, our pastors lay people and and certain requests that were made to us so so father we just as we enter into your throne of grace we praise you and we honor you and glorify your name father you and you alone are worthy to be praised we come together nancy and i in unity asking you almighty god to saturate our minds our hearts our mouth and our spirits with your word, that we may be filled and fueled by your Holy Spirit. Father, your word tells us to come to you with prayers and petition, but with thanksgiving in our hearts. So, Father, we do thank you. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for each and every blessing that you've bestowed upon all of us, Lord, things that we can't even imagine. And we thank you for all those things, Lord, that you have blessed us with that we haven't thanked you for. So we come before you now, Lord God, with our petitions and our prayers. Lord, we lift up our pastor, Pastor Devin and his family, and the pastors of the world, Lord. We lift up the lay people. We lift up the evangelists and the missionaries, leaders of small groups. Father, we just pray blessings all over them right now. We ask in the name of Jesus that you give them a fresh anointing, that every word that comes from their mouth would be truth, Lord God, your word and truth. It may not be what people want to hear sometimes, oh God, but this is the year of the mouth. I understand. I heard that. So out of our mouths, Lord God, let truth come out and let it not fall on deaf ears, oh God, but ears. Let them hear the truth, the truth of your word. Lord, we not only pray for our pastors and those in small groups and lay people, Lord God, we lift up to you right now uh, a member of our church, Shelly's sister and her mother, Deb Culp's mother and father. Lord God, the hospital says they are diagnosed with COVID. And Nancy and my friend, Nancy Martin also, who's in the hospital. Father, we Come against COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord God, to eradicate this plague that has plagued our country, Lord God, and the world. We ask in the name of Jesus together, Lord God, Nancy and I come together and decree healing in the bodies of these people, Lord God, right now. And that COVID-19 will not prosper. It will not prosper or have any residue effects on these people or our loved ones oh god that have been attacked by this ugly disease this virus father we know that you can do all things there's nothing yet you cannot do help us oh god to keep our faith strong in you as we lift up these people to you oh god and those in our church we are calling on the armies of heaven to 
fight with us mm -hmm. to do what we cannot do in Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you for your precious son, Jesus. The precious son, Jesus Christ, who is our rock, our savior. He's our redeemer. He's our friend. We bless his name. We praise you, Jesus. We exalt you, O God, our father. We thank you, Lord. Father, we come humbly before you asking for uh, marriages, Lord, that you would touch marriages. You would raise up the men to be the godly leader in the household, Lord. You designed marriages. You created families, Lord, and we lift them all up to you. That, Father, you would keep them united in you, Lord, and for those, those unsaved loved ones who want no part of you. Mm. Holy Spirit, go after them, yes, Lord. Yes. Woo them in, Lord. Mm, you are you, able to yes, do Lord. that. And thank God, you, for all of those people yes. out there, God, including us who love you, God, yes, may Jesus. we never become mm. stagnant or yes. complacent yes, in Lord. our walk with mm. you. Lord, this thank whole you. book is about becoming intimate with yes. you, Lord. I pray in the Jesus. name of Jesus that Jesus. we draw so close to you, yes. Lord, that God, we remember that it's about being with you more than even doing for you. So God, we lay ourselves at your feet and we surrender ourselves fully, Lord. And we ask that you help everyone to surrender yes, oh fully. Mm. Our health, our finances, yes, oh our God. families, mm. Lord, we give them to you, God, because they're on loan to us Jesus. anyway. So God, we just thank you. Thank you that you are the healer. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, that you died on mm. the cross thank for our Lord. healing. Mm. Your word says, by my stripes, you are healed. Jesus, we believe that. We claim that, God, that we come to you. And when we abide in you, mm -hmm. in the shadow of your wings, Lord, yes, Lord. that you hear our cries, mm -hmm. you hear our prayers, you, and that, God, you answer Jesus. them. We know, Lord, that you answer them. They might not be in our timing, but your timing is always perfect. Yes, you never fail us. Mm -hmm. You never make mistakes. And we can trust you fully. Mm -hmm. Father God, we pray too for our Jesus. government officials. Yes, Lord. Yes, that Lord, Lord, any official mm -hmm. that's leading our country, our city, mm -hmm. our state, our borough. God, if they don't knew, know you, go mm -hmm. after them, yes. God. Bring them yes. in. Bring leaders in that love you, that mm -hmm. trust you, and Jesus. will want to follow your mm -hmm. ways. God, we lift up all these officials mm -hmm. to you. Your word tells us to pray for people in authority, mm. and we are covering yes, Lord. them, Lord, with prayers, God, that Jesus. they will develop intimate lives yes, with you, Lord. Jesus. You, we surrender them fully mm. to you. God, we ask that you align each of our hearts with your mm. heart. Lord, just... Jesus work in our hearts mm -hmm. lord forgive us of any times that we have not walked with you mm -hmm. in the ways that we yes, should lord. lord help us lord to keep these intimate times afresh yes, lord, lord that we don't get too busy mm -hmm. that we say we'll put you we'll get you later mm -hmm. and the day goes by and we don't even have a couple words with Jesus. you forgive us for yes. those times lord mm -hmm. we ask for times of intimacy mm -hmm. with you and we know it's up to Jesus. us because you're always there for thank us you, so we thank Thank you. We praise you. We give you honor. Mm. We give you glory, you, Lord. Lord. And we are just so grateful, Lord, that you heal. Um, you're not only the healer of physical relationships. You're the healer mm. of broken yes, family Lord. relationships, mm -hmm. co-worker relationships. Yes. God, we give them all to you. Jesus. And when hearts are on the self-centered life instead of the God-centered mm. life, God, would you turn them to yes. you and bring them to the point yes, where they think of you? others before themselves all of us god may we always put others first and ourselves last lord and so god we're just praising mm -hmm. you we exalt you yes. we love you so much jesus yes. we don't know where we'd be without you and we're just so grateful that we can come to you at any you time much. of every day mm -hmm. and so jesus we love you we thank you we trust you and we just lift up your mighty name mm -hmm. the name of jesus we bless your name in your precious name we pray, amen. And Father, we do ask that you put um, a wall of fire around uh, each pastor's mm -hmm. home, oh God, that this COVID would not come in and enter their homes whatsoever, mm -hmm. and a yes. firewall around all of our homes too, yes. Lord God, yes. that we rebuke this 
COVID-19. We rebuke it in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Father, we're asking that will you tell us that we can say to the mountain, move, and it will move. Yes. So we're saying to this mountain, move in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for this time Lord. shared together. We thank mm -hmm. each and every person that is listening mm -hmm. right now. We thank just pray you, that you will continue to lift up the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. glorify him and all that you do let his glory be, be shown it's not about us it's all about you Jesus because we love you so much so we Jesus. thank you today for being with us thank you we ask yes. blessings upon you and mm -hmm. we say shalom peace be with you <laughs> and and oh, where's, where's the thing oh it's not going oh where is it oh there it is hold on